Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Diwali is about saying goodbye to evil and darkness. There are two types of people who will tell you that you cannot make a difference in this world. Those who are afraid to try and those who are afraid that you will succeed. Friends, don't care about those people. Do whatever you want to do, just do it. Follow your dreams, follow your heart and follow your passion. And yes, I wish you a very very happy and prosperous Diwali and happy new year. So let's straight away jump into the video. Hey guys, you are watching Technical Genom YouTube channel. I am Genom Saraya and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing unboxing and reviewing of Canon 50mm STM Prime Lens. Also I will be doing comparison between this Prime Lens and 18-55mm Kit Lens. Friends, right now you have been watching this whole intro that has been captured by this 50mm lens. So you have already got the idea what this lens can do. And guys, I have forgotten to tell you that if you like this video then please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon to like, share and comment it. Okay, let me open this Amazon box and I will show you the pollution free crackers. I was just kidding. Let me open this box and I will show you the box contains. Okay, first we have some paperwork like warranty card and uh, instruction guide. Okay, finally we have a lens. Let me open this safety plastic and I will show you the lens. Oh, the lens seems to be very lightweight and very very small. Let me give you the specification overview and physical overview. Lens has been built from plastic and the plastic quality is quite good. It has a very small enclosure. On the lens, we have one switch. So you can switch between autofocus and manual focus. For manual focusing purpose, we have also focus ring. So you can adjust the perfect focus. It has a wide aperture f1.8 for higher quality portraits and low light photos. This lens compatible with all EOS cameras including mirrorless camera using the EF, EOS M mount adapter. The lens can easily produce more artistic and impactful photography thanks to a wide f1.8 aperture that produce sharp focus on the subject and beautiful blurred background. Let's open the lens desk cap and I will show you how to fix this lens on the camera. Can you see the red dot on the lens? We have to match this red dot with the red dot of the camera and twist it. Okay, we are ready to shoot. When you see a Canon lens with STM in the name, it means that it features Canon step motor technology. Canon introduced this motor design to be a quieter and smoother focus system that allows for the near silent focusing during video recording. It has been made in Malaysia. Now I will give you some video samples from this lens. Also I will be comparing between this lens and 18-55mm kit lens. This video has been shooting from the Canon 50mm prime lens. Now I'm gonna switch to the 18-55mm kit lens. Now you are watching the footage from the kit lens and you have been watching this video in 55mm focal length, 100 ISO, 1x125 shutter speed and 5.6 aperture in manual mode. Now I'm gonna increase the ISO, 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600. Now it's time for the indoor environment. This video has been shooting by Canon 18-55mm kit lens in auto mode. Now I'm gonna switch to Canon 50mm prime lens. And now this footage has been captured by this 50mm prime lens in auto mode. So you are noticing the difference between two lenses. Friends, when I purchased my new DSLR camera Canon 200D, I was pretty excited about my first video. But when I saw the result, I was not that much satisfied from my video footage. 
though the footage was perfectly okay. But I need more from my camera. Yes, lighting is very important factor for any video. But I need blurred background and need more light with low ISO with detailing. So I had been searching what should I do and consequently I found this lens and now I am pretty much satisfied with my videos. Yes, you can shoot a video from your kit lens but I think after buying DSLR the first upgradation should be this lens. And the lens is very affordable. It will cost you around 8500. The minus point of this lens are you cannot zoom in or zoom out. It has a fixed focal length of 50mm. Due to the 50mm focal length, you have to put your camera very far from you so you can capture the whole image that you want. And the lens has been made from plastic so you have to take care of your lens. Bottom line, it should be in every Canon DSLR owner's collection. Now I will show you the image comparison between this prime lens and 18-55mm kit lens. And at the end of the video, I will show you the more samples that I have captured from this lens. And guys, if you like this video, then please, please, please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon, do like, share and comment your opinion. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter.